Hey everybody, it's your girl Tink Marche back with another video. So when were y'all gonna tell me about the Melicon? I mean, is it just certain millimeters that's invited? Oh, okay, that's all I'm saying. First thing first, I knew that there was talks of her possibly getting subscribers together in one spot. I remember when the idea came about. Imagine my damn surprise when I found out that Mel decided to cancel the Melicon event because of the beefing between content creators. Bitch, I can't too much blame her because who would want to host an event where there may be a fight to break out and then you're reliable. You have cast members that's blaming Melometers for a lot of things. So I can understand not wanting to receive that backlash. Just being honest. I don't have time for no pointless combos, useless combos. We ain't talking about how we get into the bag. I don't want to be a part of it. So in this live on TikTok, she was also talking about how she had to calm down her cousins who wanted to pop back on social media and um, defense of her and how certain cast members act as if they cannot control their parents when they're on social media or just their family members. And one could assume that she's talking about Letitia because I accidentally, okay, because I don't ever just go over to anybody's channel and listen to ranting and raving just because Wanda. So Wanda is what I call her. Wanda was on live and I caught a little bit of it and she was talking reckless. My honest opinion, I think Wanda starts her lives off with a point that she has to prove and I think she lose that point later on down the line because she gets a rambling and ranting and raving. Some of it makes sense, some of it don't. So I have to get in there and get the hell out. And without going into detail on what she was talking about, and maybe Mel could be talking about Neil Fletcher, but I tried to warn y'all about Neil. I told y'all it was something about that woman months ago. Y'all said y'all wanted to give her a chance, and here we are. But hey, I guess we all got to give everybody a chance. But I can assume that she may be talking about a mixture of both because everybody been running their mouth. And who's to say that Neil ain't in the background mad because she has to take the blows by herself on social media? Then Wanda can't never keep Mel's naming the fan base out of her mouth i really didn't like a person i for damn sure wouldn't sit on a platform and bring their name up every damn chance i got now that's just not with wanda that's destiny as well because i heard destiny did an interview and she continued to bring or throw slugs at mail and every time it seems like i said this a while back every time these people try to publicly shame mail or talk down on her name something happens to them to where they're publicly humiliated such as I'm hearing or saw reports. I think it was Empress Radio that just recently posted. I haven't watched a full video, but the, it was titled that LaBeric may have asked for a restraining order against Destiny. That's why it's best to just keep your mouth closed and stay out of people's business. Y'all, I remember when Destiny came to Mel's release, uh, music release party, and she kept asking that girl to be a part of her fucking village. That's what rubbed me the wrong way about Destiny. Because why are we talking about this right now? To learn early on that people will use them having children and you having children they'll use that to their advantage well, i really have to watch how a person operate with their children alone first before i even remotely call you my friend because you're not going to dump your children on me or will i be the basis of your village if you didn't have a village before you had a child you're not going to have it afterwards unless you personally go out there and select a few family members that's trustworthy not to say that you can't ever build a village but if it wasn't there non-existent to begin with it's probably going to be rough on down the line i'm just saying i digress though i just unalived three birds with one stone because we can't use the k-word talked about wanda's live mentioned what mel said in her live and also mentioned how destiny just recently, news broke about Destiny and LaBaris court case. Very disappointed that the Melicon event was canceled, even though I had no idea about it. Would have liked to have came and supported and meet and network the peoples that's behind the cameras and the voiceovers. That would have been nice. And meet Mel and have fun. And I think I had said something like that a while back, that it would be nice for us to have a place to meet and fellowship and... She tried to make it happen, y'all. That's dope. I don't think all is lost. I think at some point it will work itself out. Um, we are grown folks at the end of the day. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let me take this moment and thank you guys for subscribing, following, and supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. It have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with Tink. I appreciate it. Being of love and support, I am hearing that the ratings are steady dropping for Love and Marriage Huntsville. So I did participate in the blackout of love and marriage huntsville my own personal reasons as well as to why i did not want to no longer support the show and i just feel like i'm tired of the abuse i'm tired of the random scenes i'm tired of the filler scene i'm tired of the gang ups 
I'm tired of the threats. I'm sick of the lies, the fake storyline. So they did all that acting this season just for their ratings to plumb it. They seriously probably cooked up so many of those scenes that you guys are watching. You haven't watched an episode, I bet. Majority of the scenes seem scripted, correct? Those suckers was prepared. Prepared to be sick of me. Prepared to be sick of me. My bad, y'all. But they was prepared to put on a show this season for the ratings to drop. And you know, I honestly feel like this is karma. And I don't want to say it's karma for Mel in specific because I do not want to not support her. I don't. And it was a hard decision to make. So I can support my girl in different ways. However, and Marceau that said that we had to watch the show and majority of the people that's boycotting will be back to watch the show and review it because we got to know what's going on over there. Maurice went to jail. We didn't have to watch the show. Martel went to jail. That played out on social media. Derek and Destiny going to court. He did an interview that I can literally still be doing content on. And Destiny went to jail as well, right? Stormy's business. The complaints to customers. Trish business was spilled online before the show even started. So yeah, we didn't have to watch the show to see that. But we are here. Now, I don't know the exact numbers. Sure Y'all heard content creators report on this. And if you know the exact numbers, go ahead and post it in my chat. But it's so interesting this man got on this platform and said, we, we will need them before they need us. Ain't that a bitch? Shortly after he did that live, Maurice went to jail. Don't forget about Jasmine, the makeup artist. I would just... Stop. Stop with the acting already. I don't believe this is the end of Love and Mary Tunsville. I do think there will be some major changes if they can squeeze out another season. My opinions, my thoughts, my viewpoints. My name is Tink Marche. It was good chatting with you guys. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button. Comment your thoughts below. Hit the notification bell on your way out. See you guys in the chat.